Hello again, all my brothers and sisters on our flat, domed, stationary earth. Hope all is well with everybody. I haven't done a video in a while, but I've been on YouTube watching uh, a lot of channels promote the flat earth. And I want to thank you. Uh, keep putting them out there. I really appreciate it. Keeps me going. Anyway, I had my um, oldest daughter from Long Island call me, and she was pretty upset because she's worried about the mandatory uh, vaccines to get my grandson, and uh, she was actually crying about it. And she, she asked me what I should do. And I said, well, homeschool them. Take them out of the schools. If we all do that, then uh, maybe then they'll listen to the people. But she was telling me uh, th that she met a few people on Facebook. And uh, they've been to my channel. And they actually said that um, they appreciate what I'm doing. Regardless of a lot of people leave nasty comments or say I'm crazy or I'm on drugs or something. And she wanted to call me about that too. And she was telling me, Dad, you know, for the longest time you've been talking about all this stuff. And I said, yeah, I've been talking about it. The chemtrails and, and the poisoning of our food and all the bad stuff. But I told her... Our Lord's returning soon, so you have to stick by that, because everything the Bible says and said when it was written is coming true right before our eyes, and I told her to pull your full armor of God on in these last days, and then she was telling me her sister, my uh, youngest daughter, who never really wanted to ever listen to me. She always thought I was crazy. And she actually told my oldest daughter, you know, dad might be right, what's going on in the world. And I feel bad that I stopped talking to him. And I told my uh, oldest daughter, I said, it's okay. I said, I lost a lot of friends, neighbors, a lot of family members that you know that talk bad about me and they think I'm crazy but the thing is all truth's going to be revealed and a lot of people are waking up to it and I take flat earth seriously now, I'm always out there promoting it and, and talking about the return of our Lord and pointing out the chemtrails and talking about all kinds of things, because people ask me, you know, if there's going to be a third world war. I said, well, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. There's nothing we can really do about it, but things are different. It's not like a long time ago, like in the 60s or 70s, where if you heard any news, you had to wait for National Geographic to put it out months later. Now, what everybody having these cell phones, and they can go live right on the spot. There's really nothing they can hide from us now, which is a good thing. I got a cramp on my leg. See, the devil's trying to stop me from talking now. But it's going to be, it's going to take a lot more than putting a cramp in my leg. I told my daughter, I said, I'm not scared of death anymore. I said, I'm never going to shut up about talking about the flat earth or the coming of our Lord. And I don't live in fear whatsoever. And I told her she should be the same way because that's what the devil wants. I told her, he, I said, he wants you to live in fear. He wants you to be uncertain of yourself and thinking you're nobody, you're nothing, and you don't have a purpose. Because we all do now. We always did. So you got to keep that in mind all the time. And uh, on different notes, reading the news, even though I don't, I take it with a grain of salt. 
talking about past history, this date in history so many years ago. And a lot of it's with NASA, with the probes and the satellites and all this nonsense lies. And at that time, I would read it back then and really believe in all that stuff. And as I told my youngest daughter, I said, if you believe you're living on a spinning ball, flying through space, you can believe that. But you can't believe that the Earth is stationary and cannot be moved and we are the center of the universe. Why can't you believe that? Why you believe in Satan's lie? And the same thing I told my uh, youngest brother. He's into the Bible heavy, but yet he doesn't believe in the flat Earth. I told him, I actually told him, you know what? There's something wrong with you big time. I said, you know, from now on, because I take flat earth seriously. I said, from now on, if you start talking about Bible verses, I'm going to cut you off right away. Because I really don't want to hear it. Because you're talking about the Bible, reading all these scriptures that you know a lot of them, and you use that to cover up the lie of the, of the flat earth. I mean, it's in the Bible there, I don't know how you cannot conceive it and understand it and believe it. It's beyond me. I said, there's something wrong with you. He goes, well, what's so wrong with you? I said, what's wrong with me? He goes, well, I'm in the airplane, I can see the curvature. I said, please, stop all that bullshit. I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm tired of it. I said, the same thing when you ask me about Dr. Charles Stanley. He asked me, hey, hey, Frank, have you been listening to him? I said, I haven't been listening to him in a long time. And I said, the reason why I don't, because never once did he talk about the flat earth, ever. And then when he's on TV, you see him, and right behind him is like the, the globe or whatever's behind him. I said, that, that bothers me big time. I said, can't you see the lie with that? And he told me, well, that's, it's not his calling. I said, it's not his calling to tell this, all his people that the earth is flat? That he shouldn't even be preaching, and that's why I don't ever listen to him. I don't care how sincere he is or how he makes you feel when you listen to him. Because you tell me, oh, after I listen to, listen to him, I feel good, I can start my day. I said, I don't feel that way no more because... I don't listen to him anymore, and he never told us about the flat earth, so please, don't even go there anymore. I said, like I said, don't even talk about the Bible in front of me, don't ramble off verses. I said, because if you don't believe in the flat earth, then let me tell you something, you cannot honor two gods, that's the way it is. And he's like, he doesn't, he just like shoves it off, like. It's no big deal. And I said, let me tell you something. It is a big deal to me. I said, I'm tired of being lied to. And I'm tired of people like you. Even though you're my brother, I love you in Christ. I said, but to tell me that, that I'm wrong and the Bible doesn't say it or it's some different translation, then there's something wrong with you big time. Okay, and that's the way I leave it. And that's the way my life has been. I've been arguing with a lot of people back and forth, trying to, you know, wake up the people. And I just don't understand that they can't even, like, research it or, or take all the, all the information, all these years, and put them all together like a puzzle and piece it all together. And then you'll find out that you've been lied to big time. And to shove it off like it's no big deal, that's the problem here, big time, on the flat earth. Because people, I don't know if they're too busy with their bills or problems or whatever the case is. I said, but we need to move forward. I see a lot of frustration on YouTube, fighting you know, flat earth and uh, globe people going back and forth, back and forth. We should just ignore them. Like the Lord said, plant that seed, don't force it down them. 
they don't listen, wipe the dust off you and go to the next person. And that's what I do. But if somebody, family members or neighbors or friends is trying to force me to believe that the earth is not flat, well then you barked up the wrong tree with the wrong person because I will come back at you. Because like I said, I take flat earth seriously at all costs. I'm drawing a line. That's it. But anyway, I want to get that off my chest. And I wanted to say hello to everybody. It's been a while. And like I always say, all things must pass until our Lord appears.